Okay, we're rolling. But stand up straight for me because I think she would definitely be a stand up straighter, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and action. A humidifier. Really? What do you want me to do? Convene a grand jury? Put together a small appliance task force? Just give the department a nudge. Give me some lab work, please. Come on, Jack. Look, I'd love to help you. I really would, but... I mean, how does it look if I commit resources to a case like this? I mean, I have a boss, too. Liz, I need a conviction or two or I'm going to be stuck on Dan Stark babysitting duty forever. I mean, ever since that case... Don't even go there, okay? You're not going to blame your Dan Stark problem on me. I'm not blaming you. Yes, you are. I am not. It's just that, you know, it was your case. Okay, see what you did right there? That's called blaming me. It's not my fault you had to go and be the smartest guy in the room. I should ignore it when a detective doesn't notice a signed confession with the victim's blood on it. Okay. A. You made him look like an idiot in front of everyone. B. He wasn't just a detective. He was your supervisor. How stupid is that? And C. He also happened to be the president of the Dallas Police Association. And let me just remind you that it was my swift intervention that got you to keep your badge in the first place. Never did receive a thank you. Just saying. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, it would have been our anniversary last week, Wednesday. Wow. Really bringing out the big guns, huh? I'm just making conversation, noting a simple fact. If we were still together, it would have been our anniversary. <sighs> All right. I'll help you, I'll look into it, I'll get you your lab work. Are you happy now? How's Kyle? He's good. We're going sailing next Sunday. And before you say anything about the fact that he has a boat, let me just remind you that I just did you a favor. But it was Kyle. really great to see you. And see you.